Hi, I'm Jennifer Kabick and I am a member of the 2014 Ice Resin Creative Team. And today I'm going to show you how to make a mold of this quartz crystal. And that way you can make your own crystals with a little bit of color and inclusions in them. So what I'm going to do first is I'm going to mix up some of the two-part silicone molding putty. And I'm going to take equal amounts of both parts. And what you want to do is mix them together so the white is totally incorporated into the yellow. Keep mixing and mixing. And you have a few minutes to work with this. Um, if you wait too long though, it's going to start to set. Okay. So I'm going to make sure I roll it, make sure there's no air bubbles in it. And I am going to press this in. And I'm going to smush it up around there because I really want to get most of the shape and I'm just going to leave a little bit at the top so that I'll make like a flat side but that could be to the back of whatever you're making with it. And I'm going to leave that there to set and mold, to, to set and to make the mold which should take maybe about, oh maybe about five five minutes or so. Okay, the mold has cured. I'm going to take the crystal out. And now I'm going to mix up some ice resin. I'm going to mix up two drams of the resin. and two drams of the hardener. And again, I'm going to stir, I'm going to stir slowly. I don't want to get too many air bubbles in there. And what I'm going to end up doing is incorporating some black acrylic paint to add some color to the mold. I'm going to make it look like, um, I don't know, maybe swirl it in and make it look like maybe rutilated quartz. I don't know. But it'll be fun to add some color to it. Well, I'm going to be adding black to it. I won't be adding a bright color to it. And I'm going to take my paint. I'm just using some acrylic paint. And you don't have to add a whole lot. And just kind of fold it in there to incorporate it. I have it ready, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to let it sit for a little bit to get some of the air bubbles to rise to the top. Okay, a lot of the bubbles have come out, so I'm going to start filling up the mold. And just start feeding it in there. I think the slower you feed it in there, the less likely you are to get some tr bubbles trapped. OK. 
Okay, and I am going to let this cure for 24 hours and then we'll pop it out of the mold. Okay, now that we have let the resin cure in the mold, we're just going to pop it out. As you can see, it has some nice specks in there. All you have to do is snip off and file the back of this, and you could wire wrap it, um, drill a hole in it and hang it, do whatever you want with it, and then you can make many more with using different colors. The possibilities, again, they are endless. Thank you so much. Have fun.